Hey Rose, it's Monday, July 21st. So for a long time I've been wanting to make a video about my favorite celestial body, the moon. But I have so much to talk about the moon, I didn't know what to pick. So I came up with a solution. This week is Moon Week, in which all of our videos are about the moon. And I know I'm a nerd because of how excited I am about that. So to start off Moon Week, it only makes sense that we bring you another installment of Misconception, Misconception Monday! Monday. Yeah. 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 Moon Edition. First off, it is commonly thought that the phases of the moon are caused by a shadow from the Earth blocking off part of the moon from the sun. Uh, nope. The phases of the moon are simply the effect of our perspective of the moon's daytime and nighttime. The sun is always lighting up half of the moon, daytime, while the other half is in darkness, nighttime. Just like on Earth. When you can only see part of the moon, it's because you're seeing part of its daytime, but also part of its nighttime, the dark part that you can't see. During a full moon, the side facing us is in complete daytime, while during a new moon, what you're seeing is the entire nighttime of the moon. Similarly, many people think that different parts of the world see different phases of the moon on the same day, but actually, everyone sees the moon the same. However, people in the southern hemisphere do see the moon as upside down compared to the people in the northern hemisphere, making it appear to be lit from the opposite side. It's pretty common knowledge that the same side of the moon always faces us. This is because the moon and the earth are tidally locked. But because of this, many people think that the moon does not rotate. But it does. It takes 27.3 days for the moon to make one complete orbit around the earth. It also takes 27.3 days for the moon to rotate once. This is how the same side always faces us. So, if you lived on the moon, one day would last for 27.3 days. Well, Earth days. The size of the moon in the sky throughout the night never changes for anyone no matter where you live. This is actually an optical illusion based on the height of the moon in the sky. When the moon is way up in the sky, it is surrounded by an entire sky of darkness, making it look like a tiny white dot in a giant black abyss. However, when the moon is on the horizon, objects like trees and buildings give us a reference point to the size of the moon, making it look much larger. But it's not. It's also often thought that certain events like a blood moon or a super moon or a lunar eclipse will produce a larger moon in the sky. And while they may be more interesting to look at, they're still the same size. You can test all of this for yourself, however. Next time you see the moon, hold your thumb out at arm's length and see how big the moon is next to your thumb. It will always be the same size, no matter where you are, no matter where it is, for the rest of your life. Well, unless you go to the moon, I guess. Then it will look bigger. Uh, obviously. When you see a picture of the Earth and the moon together, it usually looks something like this. This is done to show a size comparison between the Earth and the moon. For instance, this is an accurate representation of the size of the Earth and the moon if they were right next to each other. However, this has caused people to have an inaccurate understanding of the actual distance between the two. Again, here's the Earth and the Moon right next to each other for you to see the size comparison. Now here is the actual distance between the two. As you can see, the Moon is very, very far away. I'm often surprised at how little the general population knows about the Moon. We've all grown up with it right overhead and yet most know so little. But not you. Now you know more more about the moon than you did a few minutes ago and therefore can hopefully appreciate it a little more next time you see it. Maybe it's out right now. If it is, go look at it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Rose, we'll see you on Wednesday for some more moon knowledge. Bye. What does a man on the moon do when his toenail is too long? Eclipse it. Eclipse. Eclipse it. <laughs> What did Buzz Aldrin do when he pissed off Neil Armstrong? He apologized. Did you hear that the moon has gone completely bankrupt? It's down to its last quarter. <laughs> Why isn't the moon hungry? Because it's full. That's a horrible joke. I'm sorry. I apologize for that one.